you know, why we didn't do well, we turned the ball over, turned the ball over six times. That's uh, uncharacteristic of teams that I coach and uncharacteristic of this team. They turned the ball over twice in special teams, and I just, it's, you can't win football games doing it that way. And in the same vein, this team's taken some strides to improve and this this game was not indicative of the team that played uh, game after game for the Jayhawks. I, uh, yeah, we told them, we said, uh, to those men that are going to stay that uh, are not seniors and graduating, um, we have work to do. And we'll, we'll take every mistake that we made in this season fi final and we will dot the installation with exactly why and what and how it happened. And we will take spring ball and improve. And uh, I told the uh, young guys that would, re would return that they will have to, in the next three weeks, set their own practice schedule and their own um, uh, workout schedule, I should say, for the weight room and uh, and get it started because we don't want to finish seasons like this. It's not, not near as much fun. I mean, these seniors bought in. They improved. They they were really going to be the, the, one of the first teams that that uh, that you'll look back on and go. They they started this. They did a great job. So uh, yeah. So any questions? What, what do you think kind of accounted for? It seemed like you guys came out kind of flat. Any any theories behind that? You know what? There was not. There was there was no flat to us in the uh, pregame talk. In the, uh, um, I mean, I just I didn't understand it. I mean, we had the the first we had the the first drive. We had the, had the opportunity to score, and. Uh, and just didn't. Just. Or did you feel that they were maybe more unfocused today than you'd seen them all season? Um, I, you know, I, for me to say that there's one or two that that showed a, uh, a a view that you know he may not be just right on it. I don't know if that's fair. I don't know that. I guess what I'm saying is, is if somebody's having a bad day. Doesn't mean that everybody in that team is, but that you, you can you can certainly head in the wrong direction based on you know one or two players that were not playing like they're capable. Now that the season's over, how would you kind of assess how everything's gone this year? I think the I think it's gone extremely well. I think our football team is better than they were. I think they understand what the commitment to a, a full-time um, uh, football team, a team that's going to play and play and, and give, given, be given the opportunity to, to chase bowl games, etc. I know that uh, after a game like that, you don't mention bowl games, but we do because we're, we're going to take some strides and we're going to make corrections, and and those will be the things that we would Good. look forward to being a part of. All right. Are you having fun? You feel like you're going to keep yeah. doing this job for a while? Yeah, I'm, I'm having, I'm I'm having the enjoyment of relationships. I'm have, enjoying the a team that would go on the field prepared to play. I'm enjoying going into homes tomorrow and talk about Kansas and talk about the future. What does this first KU senior class mean to you? They're mine, and I, uh, you know, the the Keem Adenichis, the Bryce Tornadens, the Kyron Johnsons, the the guys that I was fo fortunate enough to coach were just tremendous people, and I uh, I enjoy them, enjoy them very much. Please raise your 
So how does a result like this kind of impact the team going into the off season? Because obviously it's nowhere near the level you wanted to perform at today. Um, the uh, I think you I think the they'll want to play I, there's there's not a guy that that i practiced with that did not enjoy improving and being better and i think that you'll find that uh that they'll look to do that they'll look to take this game specifically into their meeting room into their uh, practice schedule and look to improve i, I don't think there's any question that they're uh, not um a, uh, that, the, the, that that team, that that group of men um, doesn't realize that they're a lot better than how they played today. Do you have any thoughts on the crowd today? I, uh, I couldn't really tell considering the, uh, the weather, you know, who came and who didn't. But uh, um, we were thankful for the ones that, that arrived, I can tell you that. You mentioned recruiting. What's your pitch going to be when you're in those living rooms? Well, it's a it's an honest and sincere uh, rendition of a, a great education, an opportunity to, to launch a career, uh, an opportunity to play early, and we're looking for those kinds of players that would, you know, develop, do some special things, and I think that uh, I think guys that will want to come to Kansas. We'll look forward to that. And how important is this upcoming recruiting class, getting the deal done with that in terms of having the season you want to have next year? Yeah. I, uh, I, I Considering where we were at at this time last year, um, we're miles ahead and we'll have an opportunity to, you know, to, to be in a lot of real quality homes. So I think our recruitment will, will be very positive. Hey, Coach, uh, on your right here. Um, obviously, for Carter, not the game he probably wanted to go out on. Did you have any conversations with him either at the half or after the game just about what he's meant to this program? Yeah, I, uh, I, I didn't really get a lot of opportunity to see him after. So, uh, but uh, I, I, I caught him a couple times in the uh, in, during the game and. Uh, I, th I think he was getting to a point where he's, where he's looking forward to turning the reins over to somebody else. Jesse. Hey, hey, Les, what does this next week over here? <laughs> what does this next week look like for you, schedule-wise? Um, tomorrow we'll have a couple meetings, and uh, one will be a team meeting, one will be staff, and uh, we'll be in a home Sunday night. So, and we will be in homes right on through. And just in general, I know you can't speak in specifics, but prioritizing, are you prioritizing anything in recruiting or just in recruiting in general um, with this next class? Yeah, we, uh, we're, uh, certainly we need a quarterback. And uh, we, we like McFitty, we like uh, the, the other Miles lad. And, uh, but, uh, if we can find a, a great class, a great quarterback in this class, we'll take one. Although we we have uh, another, we, we have a a, a pretty good uh, quarterback that could be a part of us already. So. Last one with Kenitra. Despite the score, can you speak to the offense and the effort they showed in the second half to allow Puka to get? back-to-back 100-yard -back games and to go over a thousand rushing yards this season yeah I, I to me one of the things that this game needed to do was to accomplish the opportunity for puka to get his career rushing um and being a uh, giving him the opportunity to um you know handle his you know get, get the get the career and the the uh, um, thousand yard mark, yeah, and I them obviously that was if there's something to smile about about this game, that was the idea that he was a part of that those two drives that certainly could have scored. So, all right, thank you, coach.